Information dissemination is no longer legitimate, since YouTubers' lives are now centered around the number of views. In order to get the maximum views on their videos, some YouTube channels, similar to this one, resort to publishing fictitious titles or images, disregarding the importance of providing their fans with the correct information. The planet Pluto appears next to a gravitational lensing image that was previously published by NASA, but no information about the gravitational lensing or its relationship to Pluto is given in the video. However, another Jupiter video features the gravitational lensing picture. This exact same channel has previously produced a video representing the James Webb Telescope and the Big Bang Theory. It has also created fictitious images and headlines. As a result, the channel has little choice but to delete any comments that it judges to be misleading to its viewers. We must now explain what these visuals genuinely represent, and how this magnificent occurrence has helped us learn so much about the cosmos. Now, let's begin our new episode. Unraveling the mystery of how fast the universe expands has been one of the greatest challenges in astrophysics in the recent years. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, and using a method that's entirely distinct from any earlier technique, a group of astronomers from Holy Cow Team, led by Sherry Suyu, managed to calculate the universe's expansion rate. The researchers' findings highlighted a troubling disparity between the expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant, calculated from measurements of the local universe and the rate predicted from the background radiation in the early universe, when galaxies and stars did not exist. This most recent value reflects the gravitational lensing technique's most accurate measurement to date, which uses the gravity of a foreground galaxy to function as a massive magnifying lens, amplifying and distorting light from background objects. The researchers used gravitational lensing to determine the universe's expansion rate, rather than the traditional cosmic distance ladder method, which uses different types of stars as milepost markers to measure precise distances between galaxies. Based on observations of how the cosmos behaved more than 13 billion years ago by the European Space Agency's Planck Space Observatory, the team proposed a faster expansion rate in the local universe than was expected. The researchers used Hubble to study the light from six distant quasars, which are brilliant searchlights created by gas orbiting supermassive black holes at the center of the galaxies. The telescope observed how the gravity of a massive foreground galaxy multiplied the light from each quasar into four images. Each lensed quasar image's light rays take a significantly different path through space to reach Earth. The length of the pathway is determined by the amount of matter distorting space along the line of sight to the quasar. The astronomers use the flickering of the quasar's light as its black hole gobbles up material to trace each pathway. Each lensed image brightens at a different time when the light flickers. This flickering sequence allowed the researchers to calculate the time lag between images as the lens light travels to Earth. The length of each time delay represents how rapidly the universe is expanding. When the time delays are shorter, the universe is expanding faster. If they are longer, the rate of expansion is slower. Because some of the light is delayed by traveling around bends, created by the gravity of dense matter in the intervening galaxy, the quasar flickering pattern does not appear at the same time. The scientists arrived at a Hubble constant value of 73 kilometers per second, with a 2.4% uncertainty. This indicates that due to the universe's expansion, a galaxy appears to be traveling 73 kilometers per second faster for every additional 3.3 million light years that it is from Earth. The Holy Cow team, which began in 2012, now has Hubble images and time delay information for 10 lensed quasars and intervening lensing galaxies. The team will continue to search for and follow up on new lensed quasars hoping to observe 30 more lensed quasar systems in order to reduce their uncertainty from 2.4% to 1%. NASA's amazing James Webb Space Telescope may help them achieve their goal of 1% uncertainty much faster by mapping the velocities of stars in the lenticular galaxy to allow the astronomers to develop more accurate models of the galaxy's dark matter distribution. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.